Hello, it's Arit here from Estatino Media, helping you create profitable content. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a QR code for your business card so you can put it on your card, have it look something like this. What you see in front of you here is the backside of a business card that I designed for one of our clients and they wanted a QR code so that when someone scans it, the contact information is saved to that person's phone. Now, regardless of what function you want this QR code to have, I'll show you how to customize it and you can do all of this for free. So let's get started. Okay, so let me show you how to create this QR code here and have it exported as a JPEG or a PNG so you could put it on your business card. This is the back side of a card just to show you an example of how it's used. And this is the front side of the client's card. So they wanted it to be on the back and you can do something similar as well. So the first thing I need you to do is go to qr-code-generator.com and I'll put the link in the description below so you can easily get to it. This site allows you to create a QR code for free and you can easily customize it to what you want. So the first thing you want to ask yourself when you get here is what do I want the QR code to do? Do you want it to take someone to a website? In which case you'd use this function here. Do you want it to add your contact information to someone's phone? Just like the example that I showed you in the beginning of this video. For that, you would use vCard. Do you want to display a certain amount of text on the screen? Do you want it to open up an email? Uh, do you want to have an, a, a text message sent to that person or have them connect to a Wi-Fi network? There's so many cool things that you could do here and you can kind of play around with these different functions. Let's say you wanted to create something like scanning, having the code, the QR code on your business card, and you want someone to scan it and have your contact information pop up so that they can save your contact to their phone. So I'm gonna click on VR or V card. You'll wanna enter in your information. So I'm just gonna use my information for the purposes of this video. And you can see here, I could put a phone number. So let's just put, a random phone number here, uh, an email address right here, company name, you can put your title as well right here. So all of these fields are optional in terms of what information you'd like to have pop up in their phone. Um, definitely want uh, at the very least your name, contact information and website would be good. So I'm gonna click on generate QR code and you'll see if I scroll up here in the corner, this is the QR code that has all of this embedded information in it. Now, if I wanna customize the QR code, meaning the way that it's displayed, so you can see here under frame, you can have it show in different, um, in different formats, which is kind of cool. So you can decide what frame you like. I like to just keep it au naturel, so I can just put that on the card. The next thing you can customize here is shape and color. So you can kind of adjust the way that the, the little pixels look like. And you can also, if you have a specific color, a brand color, like ours is, um, is purple. So I'm gonna play here with a darker purple color and you can even put in the direct hex number here uh, to bring up that exact shade and we can make the QR code colored. We can also include a logo. Now you'll notice here when I clicked on the logo option, and this is what it looks like if you wanted to have your logo in the QR code, this pop-up asks you to sign up for QR Code Generator Pro, which is the paid version of this tool. Now you don't have to sign up for this. There's certain, I just wanted to show this to you because there are certain features that are, um, you can unlock them if you sign up for a paid account. But to create something like this that is customizable in terms of shape, frame, function, and color, totally free. The only thing to keep in mind as well is if you are doing a free QR code, you can only create it once and you can't go back and edit anything. So meaning if you wanted to go back and edit um, the link, switch out a link or anything like that, uh, then you won't be able to, you'd have to create a new QR code from scratch. So it's a static QR code, whereas if you have a paid account, you can do a dynamic QR code where you can always go back to that and then change the information. So just keep that in mind. So we're gonna say no to logo, make sure you click on X 
and then hit download JPEG. When you close out of this, it's already downloaded the QR code for you. So don't be tricked by the pop-up where it's, a, it's saying free sign up. It's literally already downloaded to your computer. So when I open up this, which will be in your downloads folder, you now have this JPEG QR code file, which then you can go and embed on the back of your card or anywhere else that you're looking to put the QR code on. And if you do need someone to help you with the design of your business card or your marketing materials, whatever it is that you're printing this on, I'd be happy to help. Please do head down to the description and send me an email. My contact information will be below and I'd be happy to help you out. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.